objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to tell what light energy is. Describe the properties, characteristics, and importance of light energy. Explain how light travels in. Identify ways to protect oneself from the harmful effects of light energy. Your previous year, you have learned about energy, which is the ability to do work and make things happen. You would not be able to do a lot of the things you do now without energy. Light, sound, and heat energies are just three of the kinds of energy that you experience every day. What is common among all the materials shown in the pictures? All the materials shown in the illustration give off light energy. The sun, light bulb, burning wood, candle, flashlight, and lamp all radiate heat and light. Light is a form of energy that allows you to see the things around you. On Earth, the main source of light is the sun. You can see everything during the day because of sunlight. Light energy from the sun is called radiant energy. When the sun is out and raindrops fall on the ground, what do you sometimes see in the sky? Do you see rainbow? A rainbow forms when raindrops act as a prism. A prism can be a glass or other clear objects that separate light into a band of colors. Similarly, when the raindrops are opposite the sun, a rainbow is observed in the sky because the light is split into its component colors. Light can be divided into seven visible colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. You remember these using the acronym Roy G. Biv. If there was no light, you would stumble in darkness. Have you tried staying under the sun with your back turned away from it? What do you see on the ground in front of you? When your body blocks the path of light, you see a shadow. The light does not go through you, so a dark outline of your body is formed. Light travels in a straight line. It travels about 300,000 kilometers in one second. Look at the pictures of shadows at different times of the day. Why did the boy's shadow change in size and direction? Since the sun's rays travel in a straight line, blocking its path will form a shadow on the ground opposite the direction that it comes from. The size of the shadow also depends on how much of the light is blocked. The same is true for other sources of light. The position of the sun in the sky in relation to you determines the size and direction of your shadow. Light passes through materials in different ways Some materials that let light pass through are called transparent or clear materials. Common examples objects that are made of transparent materials are glass windows, clear drinking glasses, water, and clear plastic. Some materials allow some amount of light to pass through. These materials are translucent. For example, frosted glass lets some light to pass through but blocks some light. Other examples of objects that are made of translucent materials are thin handkerchiefs and curtains, tracing paper, onion skin, cellophane, and wax paper. Other materials do not allow light to pass through. These materials are opaque. Opaque objects block the path of light and in turn form a shadow. Examples of objects that are made of opaque materials are books, paper plates, illustration board, and walls. Light can be produced. The sun is a luminous light source, which means that it produces its own light. There are other sources of luminous light. Fire from a burning candle or from a stove produces light. When a light bulb is switched on, it also produces light. A firefly also produces its own light. They are the examples of luminous light sources. Light is reflected. Is it possible to see an object behind you? You can use a mirror. A mirror reflects light. The reflected light on a mirror helps you see yourself and the objects behind you. A reflection on a mirror is an example of a non-luminous light. 
Reflection is the bouncing back of light as it hits a surface. A non-luminous light source does not give light on its own but instead reflects light from a luminous source. The moon is an example of a non-luminous light source. The moon reflects the light from the sun to make it look like it is shining. The light reflected by the moon helps you see at night. The colors that you see on objects are also partly due to the reflection of light. When light shines onto an object, the object absorbs all of the colors in the Roy G. Biv spectrum except the color that it appears to be. The color is then reflected by the object to your eyes, causing you to see the color of the object. Light is refracted. Refraction is the bending of light as it passes from one substance to another. When you are in a swimming pool, the bottom appears closer to the surface, and the water seems shallower than the actual depth. Another example is the pencil in the glass of water. The pencil in the glass of water appeared bent. Light travels slower in water than in air. As light entered the glass of water, it slowed down and changed direction. Light has varying levels of brightness. Imagine your bedroom with no other light aside from the lamp that is turned on. How much of the room would you be able to see? Depending on how bright your lamp is, you might only be able to see the book that you are reading before going to sleep and maybe even a small part of your bed. However, if you turn the lamp off and turn on the light on the ceiling of your room, you would be able to see all of the things in your room. Why is that so? The answer lies on the candela of your lamp and of the light bulb. Candela is the unit that describes the brightness of a light. The higher the candela is, the brighter the light will be. A lamp has a low candela and can only light up a small space. The light bulb on the ceiling, on the other hand, has a higher candela and can light up a bigger space. The distance also determines how bright the light will be on the object that it shines on. The farther the light source from the object is, the greater the scattering light on that object will be, thus making the light appear less bright than it was before. Light can be hot or cool. Do you ever wonder why the flame on a stove or a candle has different colors, such as red, orange, and blue? The color of light depends on the heat energy that it has. Recall what Roy G. Biv stands for. Based on the order of the colors, the heat energy that light emits increases from red to violet. Thus, the temperature of the colors of light also increases from red to violet. Among the red, orange, and blue colors of a flame, which is the hottest and the coolest? Based on Roy G. Biv, blue is the hottest, whereas red is the coolest. The same rule applies to stars. Red stars are cooler than blue stars. White, which is not in the Roy G. Biv spectrum, is the hottest color of light. This is because white consists of all the colors in the spectrum and has all of the heat energy of all of those colors. Everyone benefits from light whether it is natural or artificial. However, too much exposure to light may be harmful. It is best to know how to protect yourself against excessive light. Here are some ways that you can protect yourself. 1. During the day, make sure to get enough natural light from the sun and avoid overexposure. 2. Keep the lights in the house dim at night. This would help your eyes adjust to the dark so that you can sleep easily. 3. Limit your use of gadgets. The screen of gadgets emit blue light, which is a form of light that the human eyes cannot filter. Exposing your eyes to blue light for too long can strain your eyes, give you headaches, make you tired, and even make you blind. To check how well you understood the lesson, let us have a short exercise. Complete the following sentences. 1. 
Blank is the unit that describes the brightness of a light. The correct answer is candela. 2. Blank is the bending of light as it passes from one substance to another. The correct answer is refraction. 3. Blank is the bouncing back of light as it hits a surface. The correct answer is reflection. 4. Light travels in a blank. The correct answer is straight line. 5. Blank do not allow light to pass through. The correct answer is opaque materials. Good job, kids!